What is going on, YouTube? This is your boy Take for Portugal Open Mike. How you doing? Hope you are doing well. All right, we're going to get into a usual general discussion about certain things. I saw this video. I want to just talk about it. Um, again, remember, like I said, everything is in general terms. There's no absolutes. I always say that. That's the way I talk, so we could just make it easy. But let's get on it and let's get into this. Uh, a lady want to talk about what's a good man and a bad, uh, a good guy and a bad guy, a good man and a bad man. Which I, I want to hear her uh, her perspective and see if you could add a little something to it or not. I have not watched the video, but let's 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 put our thinking cap on and see what she's talking about. All right. In 2013, so I have red hair, right? But I didn't know that. Listen, I didn't know this. I didn't know this. I didn't know the man that I was. He was watching me. I, I'm very open to love. Like I don't mm -hmm. dodge it. I don't say, oh my God, there's nobody out there. Like I've been in many relationships. I have two kids um, with, you know, with my son's father, and we were together for 10 years, and that didn't work out. And then I was dating for a while, and then I dated a lot of shit men and great men. And okay. now I'm like, okay, I know what a good man is and I know what a bad man is. I think I know, oh. like, I kind of have an... Okay, so now let's see, let's see the breakdown now. I know the signs. You know the signs. Elaborate on that. What's a good man and what's a bad man? A good man is somebody who wants to, like, he sees, he sees you for what you are, good or bad, and okay. he's willing to accept you and he's going to elevate you too. He's going to figure out ways to help you become a better woman. He's not going to give it to okay. you easily because that's not, like, realistic. Before, I used to think that a man had to give me everything. That's not realistic. You know what? Not bad, Ma. I'm with you with that so far. Yeah. That's not realistic. You ain't going to give you everything. There's no perfect out there. There's no, you know, a quick... Look. Certain people are gonna get certain things better than us. It just is. Life is not fair by the definition. But I like the way she's thinking in that regard. Yes, that right there is, you know, if I'm looking for somebody, I'm looking for somebody. I ain't gonna say I have to build her up, but I would say, hey, just support her, have her back, and she has my back, and we're good, and we enter this relationship. Again, even if I make more money than her or she make more money than me, it makes no difference. It's about the communication and the love that we have. And again, if we have kids, that's what I want to pass on to my kids and stuff like that. So yes, and I hope that she got married to the, the she, when she said she was in a relationship with 10 years, I hope that they were married. If not, then okay, you got the milk for free and all that stuff, but I digress. But I agree with what she's saying so far. So yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not promising the world. I, I never have, I never will promise a woman the world. Cause no, let's have, cause I can't. <laughs> I can't even do that for my mom and for what she had done for me. I, for what she had done for me when I was sick when I was young, I told my mom, even if, even if, even if I win a lottery, I can't pay you back for what you did. So it is what it is. But so far, okay, I like it. A man is not going to give you the world right away. But mm -hmm. you're going to have to, he's going to teach you how to maybe get the world better yourself. And he's going to help you get there. But he's not going to give it to you. He's going to support your career. Like my man supports my career. He loves that I'm an actress. And I've never met a man who understood why I want to be an actress. Like every man I met is like, why do you want to do that? You should do this. And I'm like, no, that's my passion. So if I'm. Okay. And I'm happy she found that man. So that's good. That's good for her. She found that man, whatever. The other side where she's asking about, well, you want to be an actress because you see. If you bring an income with being an actress, we all cool. Do your thing. But here's the thing. Just like me, I do music. I have gotten um, um, gold plaques, platinum plaques, awards and everything. But I know that the industry is fickle, including for, in for uh, independent artists like I am and my company. So, because I remember when I was making in 2007 when we released... Um, Unity Sounds, Party Zone, and those things sold like crazy. And people was calling me up on my phone telling me, hey, I want to buy T3. I want to buy your company because of blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not going to buy. You're not going to buy for that little bit of money. Of course, it wasn't a little bit. Some of them was like, I said, if I, if that, somebody would give me $5 million, I would have sold it. But, they, you know, there was like 500000 700000 One was close to a million. And I was like, eh, nah. 
but I know that I do know that I remember my coworker was like at the time he was like because I do architecture and stuff like that so he was like hey you make you made this much money this year so why don't you do um, just do that all the time well just to let everybody know like because because those albums sold well we made close to three million dollars in 2007 but in 2008 with the housing crash as a company we barely make any we made, we made what five to ten thousand dollars why because people was housing crash happened people was not selling stuff they had to worry about the economy and everything just like with covid thing happened it's not a up it, it's not a set fee so that's why i have a career i do my music on the side if she if your passion is on the side and you have a job mama go right ahead i have nothing against that you do your thing and if, if not and that guy likes you for what it is in that regard and of course daniel and you have kids hey he's a good dude all right but mm, that's the reason why when why you want to be anxious because it comes with more than that man supports you and your passion and everything you're doing that's a real man that's quality that's love that's passion and also he better take care of you when you're sick as hell in your hospital bed and pay for that hospital bill because it's you mean we pay for the hospital bill? Not not I, we. Turn that M upside down, sweetheart. If you get sick, we gotta pay for the hospital bill. Not me. Quite happy, and I ain't got insurance. So. <laughs> I ain't got insurance. This is why he. This is why again you. I, you don't have insurance. Ah, but I, I, I'm gonna be an actress. That's that's why they ask you why that is. You want to be an actress, you ain't got insurance, and you have two kids. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Mm. So, what makes a bad man? A bad man mm. is somebody hear. who has no, he doesn't care about you. He, You okay. could be, like, going through the worst. And, like, a real man, like, listen, women, like, don't, expecting things from a man is the worst thing you can do. But I give her that. I agree with her on that. Just like guys. Expected from a woman is the worst thing you could do as well, too. 100% correct. <sighs> Sorry, the picture did... I, I, natural beauty is so overrated. I mean, underrated. I'm sorry, not over, underrated. Well, you just can't be yourself. You gotta put... But if a man knows that you're going through something, mm -hmm. and he sees, and he's watching you struggle, and he's watching you go through that's not a good man that's not even a good friend like you don't no 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 i'll let you finish but that could be hold up but i'll let you i'll be right a little bit and let, let you say what you said friend like you don't want that person around because a good friend is gonna help you or help you figure it out so i feel like that just goes you just have to be a good human you have to be able no Sometimes you could put yourself in some situations, like I talked about what I said with the whole pretty girl syndrome. Sometimes you put yourself in situations, and you know what? The best lesson to you to learn that situation is to do it yourself. You learn the consequences of your dumb decision. That's how you become wiser. Why should I help you when you made a stupid decision? Now, if it's something, like I said, I get where you're coming from, um, ma'am, but sorry. There's a young dude I know, like I said, he was going through some horrible stuff. Two years. Yeah. I, had, I, I said, and he was like, man, you gonna have, no, I had to kick him in the butt. No, I'm not helping you. you gonna come, no. And he looked at it as like, oh, wow, thank you for helping me. And I've done it for females too as well too. Heck, I'm going through one way now with a female. It's like, she's, she's literally in the pits right now. I talked to whatever, but I'm not gonna help you out of this situation because some of the situations you did yourself, you gotta learn, hey, I should have never made that decision. No, I don't blatantly tell them in their faces. Well, the guy I did, yeah. And a couple of women have done that too because the decision was stupid. But for the woman right now, she's going through a little depression and all that stuff. I don't blatantly tell her to her faces, but I'm not cowering. I'm not just like giving my lead, my, um, my shoulder to lean on for you to cry and just not take responsibility for some of the decisions you made. Sorry. I'm not blasting your face, but you need to learn this that way. So sometimes a, a good friend and a person know knowledge that too. Now it's hard to tell that, and I give you that. So this is again teach you a moment to teach you guys how to ask because I am not nobody's gonna take away my happiness. Nobody. 
I'm not the person gonna take care of my happiness if I have to. So I do not want. So if you are a friend and you keep self wallowing and self pitying all the time, you're not gonna take me down with you. I'll help you as best as I can, but I ain't. You ain't gonna take me down with you. So when you're like, man, I like uh, uh, literally, a person like. I called you at three o'clock in the morning. Are you out your flipping mind? Three o'clock in the morning, I'm sleeping. Are you gonna help a friend? No, that's reserved for family emergencies, not a friend, okay? Family emergencies, if I had a wife, that's for my wife. Oh, if I had kids, it would be kids. Other than that, no. But again, just laying in, no, no. Right differentiate what a good person is and what a bad person is, whether it's a man or a woman. Me coming out of a, a, a relationship for 12 years and joining this dating ass pool, it's some bullshit out here right now. I'm not saying that it's not good people out here. It always right been. Right now, the brothers that are stressed out dealing with quarantine, they're not looking to say, will you marry me? Most of them are just looking for you to come over, fuck the shit out of you and keep it pushing. They're not looking for nothing deep. They're stressed out. They don't know if they're going to have their job next year. So it's Make not easy out here. Relationships are not easy. So if you I have agree something with at home, you bill, you get counseling. Right yes. now is the best time to get yes. counseling with your partner if yes. you have one at home. Because I have a lot of girlfriends that are yes. breaking up right now due to quarantine because they're yes. around a man more. They're seeing quality that they don't like. And I'm telling them, ain't shit out here. Exactly. I agree with that lady. Good good, good job on the last end. I, I could end on that note right there. That is pretty damn awesome what she just said. I agree with that. That is good. Yeah. A lot of people just like to run away from things when, it, when things get dangerous, is when, when things go they're not go the right way. They cower, they see a little fear. Oh, this is not going to go the right way. I'm in a relationship. So sometimes you need counseling, sometimes you need an outlet, sometimes you need stuff. I agree with that lady in the end. Perfectly, understandably, of course. So, but hey, I, that was a good little video right there to, to react to. Again, guys, just be careful of all the stuff. I, I, I'm mostly talking to men because, again, how it is, I always wrap it up. Never trust a woman. Same thing women don't trust a man, but I'm sorry. For, but again, we, I already told you how that situation is. But yeah, good man, bad man. Okay, that's 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 kind of a look into what women think. And I'm going to try to look for different views because again, not all women think this way. Not all men think this way. That's what I said. The general terms we're talking about. But other than that, that was a good little video. And again, I like what the lady said at the end. That is true because a lot of people are just... You, you, now that you're around, you got a lot. Now you're like, that's why I was saying in the old, uh, another video when, it, when, when the lady was like, when, when things are not, the energy is not there. I'm like, you, in a relationship, you're going to get blandness. You're just going, you're going to get monotonous. It just is. If you're going to live, you think a person who live from, if they got married back in the old days from 20 and they have been married for 60 years, they, you know, she'd be like, Hey, remember the time when you, yes, I know the time when you, remember the time? Yes. She knows and he knows the same way too. That's just how life is. Accept it and just take the good with the qualities that you think that could make to build on a relationship. Again, I'm not a relationship expert. All right? And I understand how MGTOW is. The ones that are regular, not the extreme ones. Those extreme with nut jobs or whatever. I respect the MGTOW. Okay, it makes sense. Go your own way. Same thing with independent women who are like, oh, I'm independent. If you're independent, you should not be looking for a guy. You should be by yourself chilling. But whatever in that regard you know it is like i said good video and teachable moment with that remember people are stupid individual smart be that smart individual this is your boy take for project open mic peace out for straight no chases